You join me today at Moyla Park, one of the hills in the Clwydian Range in Denby, North Wales. Construction was started on the transmitting station here in 1962 by the IBA to bring 405 line VHF ITV television to North Wales and it's been on the air since 1963. It's seen many changes over the years with the most recent being the digital television switchover. It sits 340 metres above sea level with a guide lattice mast reaching 230 metres into the sky. I'm sure many of you have driven past or hill walked past this place and wondered what everything on the mast actually does, so today I'm going to tell you. Before I do, these transmitter tours seem to be quite popular, so I've created a playlist which I'll link at the end of the video, as well as the description below, so you can check out my transmitter tours from one place. So at the top we have the main UHF array which serves various digital television multiplexes. It consists of four sides with eight panels on each of those sides. At the very top is a couple of lightning protection spikes and you'll notice a ladder up the side of the array itself which is used for maintenance. Below this is our top set of guy wires with LED warning lights which can be seen here 56 miles away north of Stockport. Moving further down we have an even mightier UHF television array which, like the one at the top, serves various multiplexes. What's surprising about this one despite its size compared to the other is that it's only a reserve. It consists of many dozens of panels made by RFS to form this impressive array. Now you may be wondering what the two large metallic boxes are above this reserve antenna. Well they're liquid mass dampers. These are liquid filled containers that are designed to reduce oscillations on the mast caused by high winds. Moving down we come to the National DAB antenna. This is a three sided multi element array that serves BBC National 12B, Digital 1 11D, Sound Digital 11A and North East Wales and West Cheshire 10D. Interestingly this radiates all DAB broadcasts for the area except Liverpool which will come to soon. Next is a set of LED warning lights that are shielded from falling guys by these little metal covers and then there's two end fed vertical dipoles. The left one looks very old and is possibly the old aerial for amateur radio repeater GB3MP. The right could be PMR for local business or maybe linked to marine usage but for both of these I can't be certain. Next is another set of guy wires in more detail and a set of aircraft warning lights. If you look into the centre of the mast you can see the RF feeders travelling to the broadcast antennas at the top. Now we come to an antenna that's a bit of a mystery and that's this J-Beam 300-500 MHz 3 element Yagi. I know what it is, I just don't know what it does. It could be used for business comms or just about anything and it's the only one I could see on the tower. Next we come to this pair of cardioid arrays. These are two element Yagis which are phased and serve Heart FM North Wales on 106.9 MHz. Then we come to another set of warning lights and we can see the eye shelters more clearly along with what looks like a breakout box for power. You can also see how easily these sections of the mast bolt together. It makes you wonder how they stay up. Further down we come to our first of quite a few microwave links. Now microwave stuff is the hardest to identify but it can be done but to keep this video under the 50 hour mark I'll just tell you that there's lots of microwave stuff at Moley Park as you'd expect. There's EE, MLL Telecom and three links for cellular and data services, Archiva and Bitstream broadcast links for broadcast television and radio, BT links for telephone and broadband to name just a few applications and Airwave for the Police National Communications Network. They have point to point links here carrying signals near and far from low band microwave frequencies to extremely high band frequencies. In the background you can see four folded dipoles. I struggled to identify these but they're similar to what you'd find on other radio sites that sit by the coast. These point towards the Wirral and the Port of Liverpool so at a reasonable guess I'd say they're marine related. Moyla Park does have aerials here used by the Coast Guard and the RNLI so it's plausible that these do have a marine application. In front of the folded dipoles you'll notice this set of four phased five element band 3 Yagis which form the antenna system for Liverpool 10C, 
DAB radio that covers Liverpool. This sits separate quite a way down the mast from the main DAB array and I'm not certain why. Next up is this set of tightly fitted shrouded log periodics. There's 8 of them in total and systems like this are used for lower power digital television services and are more commonly found on relays. This array serves the area around the town of Mould nearby and you can see a microwave link near to this as well. Moving on we come to this slanted beam pointing towards the North Wales coast. This is the reserve antenna for Hart North Wales on 106.9 FM. There's also another set of guy wires helping to hold everything up. Next we have another pair of microwave antennas and further down this folded dipole which again I can only assume is for marine VHF. Nearby is this pair of end fed vertical dipoles and these appear to serve the police's digital communications network known as Airwave. Usually they use four stack folded dipoles but with the location of Moiler Park they've opted for end fed verticals. Next are quite a few point to point microwave links of varying sizes and one that's certainly seen better days. There's also a couple of folded dipoles hiding in this section of mast which I can only assume are marine VHF related. Moiler Park overlooks quite a large portion of the North Wales coast so it makes sense to have aerials up here that feed Holyhead Coast Guard and the various lifeboats that serve the coastline. Further down is our first of two cellular sites on the mast. These panels look quite old and have probably been up here a long time. There's also some microwave links mingled in too. Then we come to this pair of band 2 receive yagis pointing in the direction of Wrexham. These were apparently used for the programme feed for MFM, a former Liverpool radio station which was transmitted from Moyley Park on 97.1 MHz during the 1990s. Now we come to a couple of older bits of kit. The top piece is this microwave link and the bottom piece is this trough. The trough points over to Winter Hill Transmitting Station and served as the original program feed when BBC2 first entered service at Moiler Park in 1969. Moving further down we come to the second cellular site which I believe belongs to EE and 3 and there's another microwave link in the background. And the rest of this lower portion of mast is filled with microwave links. This star shaped one is quite interesting, I thought it may be related to PCM, a system I did a video about which I'll link at the end of this one. There's another PCM dish on Hull Moss but it turns out this one isn't PCM related so I'm not sure, it does look cool though. And then we get to the bottom, there's a couple of microwave links and a log periodic which points towards Winter Hill which could be used for off air receive monitoring but I can't confirm. So that's everything on the mast at Moiler Park. I did do a video on a similar site over at Hull Moss so be sure to check out that video in the description below and just a reminder if you haven't seen my transmitter tours playlist then that is in the description as well.